Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I have to stay impossibly still. Y'all know I like to really run around the screen, but I just looked in the monitor after my last intro and I was like, <laughs> you're completely dark because there's this little swatch of sunshine coming through. Hello. So I'm going to try to just get through the intro really quickly, relatively still, <laughs> jokes. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into the video and hopefully we can try to block out some of this situation here. But uh, today's video, hello, I should probably talk about it. Today's video, we are talking about e.l.f. Cosmetics and I am so next level excited because I have this huge box of stuff. I picked it up from their website like two, three-ish weeks ago. They were having a big sale and I decided that I wanted to just dive into e.l.f. a little bit more because I haven't talked about them a ton as of recent. So last week I did a video testing e.l.f. holiday kits, which I will link up here if and you missed it. And then obviously for today's video, we're going to be getting into a ton of new goodies from them. We have the new e.l.f. brightening concealer, the new putty blushes. We've got some um, sponges, some br brushes I've never used and just a bunch of stuff either, you know, it's new or it's just stuff I've never tried. And I thought it would be an awesome idea to put it all together into this big old beefy video, which is going to take a minute. Grab a snack, grab a cup of coffee, grab yourself some kind of something because we got to go into all of this. But before we get going too far into the video, you know, if this, if this is you, this is what you're here for. Hang tight. Okay. It's only going to be like, a, mm, like just a little, boop, just a little second. Um, but I like to pause at the start here and just introduce myself for anybody that might be new. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Again, if you're new here, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then of course if you haven't done so yet, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below, but uh, I'm trying to get that platform to 10,000 followers and it has quickly become one of my favorite platforms that I've ever posted on. I really just feel like there's so much room for, um, for expansion as far as what I'm into, what I like to do. So I post a ton over there. I have everything from uh, makeup stuff like makeup reels, makeup IGTVs, makeup tutorials, little mini makeup reviews. I have um, plus size fashion, regular like artistic photos and stuff just on the photography side. And then also in the day to day, like in the um, Insta stories, I like to hang out with you guys. We do unboxings. We hang out in the office. We go for walks. We take polls. Really just moral of the story okay, before I just, you know, keep, keep blabbing on and on. Um, really for me, Instagram is just that place where it's kind of the behind the scenes for not only like the channel, but for what I've got going on in my life with me. If you're ever, you know, just curious about what's going on, um, that is definitely the place to be. So again, it'll be linked down below if you want to check it out. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And with that, let's go ahead. Let's zoom this camera in and bitch, let's get going. Okay. Cause she's going to be a big one. And I'm so excited. Uh, uh, uh. And I just can't hide it, honey. It's already so hot in here and I'm wearing a sweater, dear. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that was, but I need to plug in my phone cause she going to die. All right, you guys. So first thing we're going to do now that we're good and zoomed in is actually do a little something for the lips. Cause I have a couple of options. Um, and then obviously we're going to get into the rest of the face. But the first thing that I actually wanted to mention, I found this in the bottom of the box and this is actually uh, one that was supposed to be in the holiday gift set video but this is their candy kisses lip balm duo and it comes in two different shades it says bear kiss and xo red you get two of them for five dollars anyways we have both of those which i of course want to mention and then i also picked up these for more lip care because y'all know i just love all the lip care and this one over here is the five milligram this is their cbd lip oil so just a straight lip oil no color and then this one is their ride or die lip balm in the shade um, Tough Cookie, which I've actually heard a lot, a lot of people um, talk about this, say that it's really good, like the texture, formula, color, all the things. And so maybe we should start here. Your lips ride or die bestie, 100% vegan and cruelty free. All right. Well, I mean, I'm listening. I like the sound of that. Okay. All right. So she's a little stiff. You got to really give it a squeeze. Oh, but I like that color. I'm just going to do a little swatch. <gasps> oh, I do like it. It's like a nice light little tint, more neutral, of course, because y'all know me. That's just kind of what I am, who I do. What? <laughs> that's what I am, who I do. I feel like the words were wrong there, Paige, but that's okay. We expect nothing less. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm just going to schmooey a little bit of this on. Oh, it smells. <gasps> oh, my God. That smells amazing. It smells like cookies. <laughs> I love cookies. Okay, so not only does it smell good. I actually really do like that tint. It is a thicker formula. Like as you can tell, I'm like really squeezing on on this tube here, but uh, I like the color. The consistency is very, very smooth mm, and it feels really, really good. I, ooh, I quite like this. Okay. Okay. So I do really like that obviously, but I want to um, wipe it off. I want to try out this lip oil as well. This is that CBD infused five milligram soothing lip oil. And I'm always curious about stuff like this because I actually love, love a good lip oil. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, and it smells minty. Oh my God, it smells like a York peppermint patty. Very nice, lightweight. 
really, really like the smell of it. Oh my gosh, consistency on that is amazing. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> so little development. My mom just brought me in, okay? This is how amazing my parents are. My mom just brought me in the most delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay, and accompanied by, okay, because it wasn't just by itself. She also brought me in this Diet Coke with light ice that her and my father went and retrieved for me. Do I not have the truly best people in the entire world. Like, are my parents not my spirit people? <gasps> I love them so much. Anyways, I am here, I am focused, and now it's time to get into some makeup um, because I feel, I feel like that's, you know, kind of the whole reason that you're watching this. So let's go ahead and start getting into the uh, base at this point, which I did go ahead and prime off of camera using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is just the original base one, um, not the shimmery one, not the matte one, just the universal. Going into the coverage part here, I'm actually gonna start off with the new Flawless Brightening Concealer, and I want to start with this because um, it is more of a luminous, like a brightening formula. And I don't know as far as like what the coverage is going to give us. I'm not really sure. And the foundation that I have for today's video is one that I've used a lot in the past and I know that it's a fuller coverage option. So I want to make sure that, you know, going into this, that we can really see what the concealer does and what it looks like. Actually for this um, concealer, I did pick it up in two different shades. I have the shade, what is this? Fair 15 and Fair 10C. It's more of a cool toned option. And, oh yes, okay, it's a clicky one. So here are the two different shades just swatched out. The lighter one right here is actually the Fair 15. I believe, yeah, Fair 15 Warm, and then the other one is Fair 10 Cool, which actually, or C, which has more of actually like a pinky undertone, and I would say this one has more of a yellowy undertone. But I'm just gonna take and go in with some of this, which it looks like there's a lot of product there, and that, that might just be because someone, okay, I'm not gonna name any names, but somebody might have um, accidentally clicked it like a couple too many times. So I'm gonna just take what's here, and spread that out and then kind of gauge it from there. This is a very, very thin consistency. Wow. I do feel like with this one, you're not going to get very much coverage. Like I know it said on the package that it's supposed to be buildable, but just the, um, the, the thinness of it makes me feel like it's going to be more of a, like just blends right away kind of consistency. All right. So I think from here, we're going to start blending it out and I'm actually going to start off first with this sponge. Now this is a different sponge that I saw on their website. It's one I've never tested before and it is called their marshmallow sponge, or I'm sorry, their marshmallow blender. It's an all over face sponge and it retails for $5. And the consistency of this just looked absolutely beautiful. It actually, like I would say probably doubled in size. And in terms of the texture, you guys, this feels so, so freaking nice. It's very airy, very lightweight. And the surface texture of it, like as far as the actual, um, the, the application, it feels a lot better than the other one, the, the pink one that I talk about, which has more of like that spongy porous kind of surface on it. This one doesn't have that. It's very smooth. And, uh, uh, just very, very squishy overall. So highly, highly loving the feel of this and highly loving the feel of this. That didn't, that didn't make any sense at all now, did it? But let's go ahead and uh, start blending this out. And based on coverage, we might have to switch over and try a brush. But I kind of let that concealer sit on the under eye right there just to see. Oh yeah, there's uh, like no coverage, <laughs> like none at all. Um, I do think that it brightened it up slightly, but um, Nothing, nothing really great in terms of the coverage because I think it's it's thin enough that it just absorbs like right into the sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little triangly brush from Huda. This is her naughty contour brush, which um, if you didn't see it, I actually did a video testing out like three new palettes. The naughty palette, which I picked up with the brush set, I did. Um, what else did I do in there? The new Natasha Denona palette and the Juvia's Place palette, which I'll link that video up here. But um, I, I tested out all of these brushes that she launched in that video. And I think this is like the only one that I didn't test out. And I know it's not perfect for like this area of the eye because it is like substantially smaller, but I'm trying to see in terms of coverage if a brush helps. Truthfully, I think it does probably help give you more coverage, but I don't like the way that it looks. It looks almost a little bit chunkier. I'm gonna try just patting this in with my finger trying the most obvious answer here so with a finger i actually think it looks like way better than either of those other ones um brush or sponge okay so really quick i just want to add a little bit more coverage to both sides just to see if it's bl uh, buildable at all because i gotta be honest right now i'm not like hyper impressed with it um i feel like it is a nice lighter coverage concealer and it's very very thin and if that's your thing then uh, you might really really enjoy this i do get a beautiful kind of brightness out of it but what i'm not loving is the 
consistency um, and how it kind of settles into my pores on the rest of my face. That That's kind of like not my favorite. But I do think under the eyes it's giving me a nice little amount of brightness. It's just not giving me a ton of coverage, which I really, really need, especially right now with these dark ass circles. Okay, so we're going into foundation and I know the color is changing a little bit. Just bear with me. Hopefully the sun will just kind of drift behind my window here in a second. Um, but for foundation, I actually picked up one that I have used from e.l.f. a ton of times and it's actually a really nice foundation. This is their Acne Fighting Foundation, which I have in the shade Porcelain. And their, their shade range for this is absolutely awful. It comes in like four colors, I think, or something. But this is a foundation, which by the, by the way, you're going to see, this is way too dark for me. Um, but this foundation actually is a really nice full coverage foundation. And I thought it would be fun to pick it up, play with it. I haven't used it in a really, really long time. And I thought it would also be fun, since how we're testing out this sponge, we could also test out this brush from e.l.f., which I have never used. This is their large oval complexion brush and it looked pretty highly rated on their website. A lot of people seem to really enjoy it. It's just like that standard kind of artiste brush which was big there for a hot minute a while back and I thought we would test her out. Feels really nice. I'm actually going to start off with this. I'm just going to put some of that e.l.f. foundation on here just a little bit. It is a thicker formula so you want to be a little bit more mindful of that but I'm just going to take a couple little globbies of it and oh, 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 I remember you well, Elf. Oh my God, it's so thick when you're applying it. But back when I had like super duper oily skin, this was a lifesaver. I used this all the time. And now, ooh, now I don't know. Now, now it might be a little bit too matte for me, but oh my word, you guys, back in the day, comment down below if you're like an OG subscriber and you remember me talking about this because I was obsessed with it. I wore it, like when I tell you I wore it all the time, I'm not exaggerating. It was like my day in, day out foundation. I went through several bottles of this before I ever moved on to another foundation because it was so good. Okay, now for the other side, of course, we're gonna go in with that sponge. My God, this sponge feels so nice. It's like unbelievably airy and just squishy and fantastical feeling on my face. Ooh, girl, I like, I, I really like this feeling a lot. Okay, so a couple of things. This face is gonna need a lot of correction. <laughs> I look like a freaking Oompa Loompa. I love it. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I love the way that this sponge applies this foundation because this side right here, even though it is a more matte foundation, it looks so much more luminous because it's a, a damp sponge. And on this side, um, it, it definitely comes off, you know, like more matte in real life and on camera. But I think, you know, both sides actually look pretty good. I'm just gonna go over it with the sponge though, just to really press it in and really, really solidify my Oompa Loompa-ness. Okay, so to go along with this, y'all, we're really going to bust out the big guns and we're taking the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Fair Warm. And this is the concealer we're going to be using under the eyes because I need a little bit more coverage. And by a little bit, I just mean coverage. And we're going to take that in the same places and just shape out this foundation kind of make the color match a little bit better. Okay, so really quickly here, I just went ahead while I was off of camera, obviously I blended out the camo concealer, but I also went ahead and added on a little bit more of the, um, of the brightening concealer just because I wanted to see if it would work you know with like a more intense more full coverage base and what I would say about this concealer having tried it both ways I would say that this is much more of like a natural concealer if you're someone looking for a light amount of coverage but really just focusing on like that brightening effect I think that this would be a concealer more for you and uh, not so much if you're looking for like obviously that fuller coverage I just I don't really think not only does the coverage not build up really well but it doesn't um it it doesn't really bring you much brightness like on top of a foundation. It just tends to fall back and fall into um, the foundation. Okay, so for powder, what is this? We have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and this says, want to make your skin look like it's wearing a beauty filter? The silky weightless texture of this setting powder drapes the skin for a dreamy blurring soft focus finish created with a finely milled synthetic sapphire particle to give your skin a soft glow. Help smooth the appearance of fine lines and blur imperfection. Formulated to keep shine at bay and ensure makeup looks and feels fresh throughout the day. Interesting. Oh, you guys, this powder feels kind of beautiful. It's very light. It does have a little bit of like a like a sheeny glow to it. Um, and it, it actually looks quite beautiful. The color looks pretty good too. I don't think that this is a powder that I would use um, like straight up on my under eye, like to pack it in. Um, so I'm gonna actually set this down for a hot second. All right, so really quick, I did just go in and add um, a little bit of my hourglass powder. This is just the only powder that I had. And I went ahead and put that under the eyes and through the T-zone because I don't wanna set the rest of the face 
this yet because y'all it is time for some putted blush action and I am next level freaking excited for these because I picked it up in two different shades. I have the putty blush in Bali and in Tahiti and then along with those I also picked up the putty blush uh, I'm sorry putty primer. Oh shit this <laughs> this was for putty primer. I thought it was for putty blush but if we're being honest does it really matter like couldn't I at least try it and see because it actually feels like a really nice little brush. Maybe just like a little pukuk, just to try it a little bit, just so I get to use it, because y'all know I just, just gotta use my brushes. This is the shade Tahiti, and ooh, do I like this one. That is a beautiful, almost like corally pink shade. Super nice, very, very lightweight. Presses right into the skin, sits down, doesn't leave any weird like film on the skin. This one right here is in the shade Bali and it is a lot more intense. It's more of like a cinnamon brown shade. And uh, I think for me, I'm probably gonna start off actually with this brush because we're, we're still gonna test it out. And I'm gonna dip into the lighter pinky shade. I'm just gonna get it nice and coated here just because I can't help myself. And uh, we're gonna pop it right on. Oh, that actually feels quite nice. All right, I'm not upset with you at all. Oh, and that texture is very good. It's really, really nice, super lightweight. Right, so I'm actually taking this on both sides because the, the tone of both of them is so different um, that I don't want to, you know, have them be off super off kilter for the rest of the video. You know what this actually reminds me of? This is, it's kind of a weird comparison, but it kind of reminds me of like a lip stain, how those are really, really thin in texture and they just like press into your skin or into your lips and you don't really feel them, but they leave a color. That's what this reminds me of because even on my hand, it's just like, you know, the, the color is there, but you can't feel it. It doesn't leave a, like, a texture of any sort but it just leaves like this nice little flush of color I actually I really really like that and I like the fact that um it's so thin but it didn't do anything to the foundation like it didn't lift it move it I'm not having any like weirdness in terms of foundation and I actually really really like this little brush too it's super cute and I like oh it's got the little scooper on it so if you were using that little putty primer you could just get in there and, and you know sco scoop it out that was just me scooping I don't know what those sound effects were but you get the point okay so really quick just to set down my entire face. I was going to use that e.l.f. halo powder, but I, I don't really use powders like that to set everything just because I need like a really nice, more aggressive set um, for my makeup and something that's that fine and has a little bit more of that um, luminosity to it. I would typically use that as more of a finishing powder. So I'm going to go in with some of my IT Cosmetics. This is the um, Celebration. Why do I even have to look at the name? The Celebration Foundation Illumination Press Powder, and this is in the shade Light, and I'm just going to use this to very lightly go through and set down the rest of my face really quick here. Just throwing on some of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade medium and I'm just going to work that all over the face just so we can kind of buzz through. I want to get to the good ones y'all. I want to get to the reason that we're here and all these other steps are just getting in my way. Like hurry up Paige. Hurry up. Okay so here's another one from e.l.f. that I haven't tried yet. These are their new little bite size face duos and I have it in the version watermelon and in cantaloupe and I think based on these two different shades this one's more of like um, kind of like a nectarine orange kind of color and and I think um, the other one here, Watermelon, would match more with the um, the cream blush that I went in with. I actually think it's going to pair really, really nicely. Okay, so just in swatching these, they actually feel really, really nice. Um, the one side here, which is obviously the darker of the two, this one is um, kind of more of like a highlighty pink, but this one's kind of like a satin sheen, and I actually really, really like that. I like the two together. And to go in with these, I'm actually going to grab this old It Cosmetics brush. This is their Chic Blush brush, and uh, we're going to take this and just dip into, oh, well, you know, what? I'm actually going to dip into just the pink one by itself, just the one side, because I want to see what it looks like before I go in with that shimmer. So I'm going to take and just pop that. Okay, that's actually really pretty, you guys. The payoff is definitely there. I love the tone. The texture is very, very nice. Um, I think for the other side, I'm just going to try, I'm going to mix them together now and uh, see what we got going on over here. See how shimmery they look. When you mix them, oh, actually, God, that's not bad at all. It just gives like a beautiful little flush. Okay, so you guys know, this is gonna sound really crazy, but you know that I'm a huge fan of the Cover FX blushes. Like, I think those little duos are amazing. And this is really giving me that kind of vibe. Like, it's pressing into the skin. I love the combination of the two different finishes. And it just looks so, so nice. And it's, oh my God, like, it looks so good on my skin. I can't believe how pretty that is. Like, that shimmer shade, it looks a little bit more intense here, like when you swatch it. But when you work those two blushes together, just like with the Cover FX, 
FX. They just like melt into your skin and it looks so beautiful. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I backed myself just a little bit away from the camera because I feel like the lighting is just getting really closed in and really dark up close. Um, so this is what everything is looking like. Now, hopefully the lighting is just a freckle brighter. You can see it um, just a little bit better. But from here, let's go ahead and actually go in. I'm gonna save the finishing powder for the very end just to kind of buff in. And so I think next up, I'm actually gonna work on brows, which I did pick up a couple of different things um, that I haven't tried before. I have the e.l.f. Gel Powder Eyebrow Kit. This I picked up in medium. Okay, this is their Wow Brow in Brunette, their volumizing fiber gel. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go through and use some combination of these. I actually think I'm gonna start off with, eh, you know what, no, I'm gonna start off with this little palette, because this one, I know, I know I've used their pencil before, but I've never used, um, I don't think anyways, this little gel powder kit. And if I have, it's been a very long time, but I love, love powder brows. So I thought we would give this a little go here. All right, so here's the little kit. We have the gel up here and then the powder over here. And I think I want to start off actually going and putting some of that gel through my brows just to see what the color looks like. So I just went in and got that brow gel through the brows. And I gotta say, in terms of a brow gel, I don't really like this formula. I feel like it's way too thick and it's hard to even get on the spoolie. Um, so I'm probably gonna, well, well, not probably, I'm most definitely gonna go over that with the brow gel. But before we get that far, I do wanna take and go in with some of this powder right here and just see how this looks. It does look a little bit light, but I actually think it's it's fairly workable. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know, hopefully. And once I get to the front here, I'm just taking a little bit very lightly and kind of flicking it in an upward direction, pink, 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 just to try and gradiate the brows just a freckle guys so I went in obviously I got the brows good and filled with that powder which went pretty nicely and now I'm just going in with some of the wow brow again this is in the shade brunette I'm just gonna take and shape out my brows slightly with some concealer okay guys so we're gonna be doing something different for eyes today it was gonna be something completely different entirely um until I just realized that I have my little quads you know those little uh they look like this one the little four pan shadows from elf guys those are so so good I'm still gonna have them linked down below if you haven't checked them out highly recommend I think I have all of all of the little quads um, but they're kind of on the other side of my room like atop Mount Everest and I can't currently get to them so we're going to be doing something a little different because on the elf website I picked up one of their no budge retractable eyeliners and it's actually a waterproof one it's in the shade coffee which uh, is a brown shade and I think what we're going to do is take that oh wow that is a stiff stiff formula I just uh tried to warm it up on the back of my hand and ow, it kind of hurts a little bit. Um, so, you know, that's definitely something we're going to keep in mind. So I think what we're going to do is go on like all over the lid, just really, really lightly with the, uh, the cheek palette that we used here, the watermelon one. And so I'm going to take this pink through the crease and then put this one all over the lid just for a really light effect. And then what I'll do is actually smudge the, um, that no budge retractable liner, maybe all over like the upper waterline, lower waterline. All right, guys. So we're done with this liner <laughs> because it is very aggressive. Um, in terms of like the texture as I'm sitting there trying to get this onto my upper line like up here my water line wherever this it just does not have enough payoff it's just way way too hard in the formula so I'm not gonna keep sitting here and stabbing myself in the eyes with that I'm just gonna set it set it down and uh, I'm gonna move on really quickly actually to setting the face which I did pick up another spray from them this is their stay all night micro fine setting mist um, for up to 16 hour wear Ooh, that is good Smell-wise, it's nice, it's light, it's pleasant. Ooh, gotta be honest, guys, that feels really nice. <laughs> like, in terms of the, the weight of it on the face, very, very ultra-fine. Like, the, the sprayer is really good. All right, so I'm gonna give that a second, let it settle into the skin, and we're gonna do just a couple other face things um, before we go in and do, like, a final mist. And really quick, I'm gonna take some of the number seven Lift and Luminate here, and I'm just gonna pop this up under my eyes because, uh, guys, it's time I tell you the truth, that under eye situation, not looking good. And I'm thinking it's the, um, that brightening concealer. I don't know what it is, but it is breaking apart all over the place, like on the sides of my nose, under here. The reason I'm pretty confident in it being that concealer is because I have used the other one, that hydrating concealer from e.l.f., and I never really noticed it uh, being like that, that level of breakage that quickly. I'm gonna throw on just a little bit of highlight first um, before we go in with the finishing powder, and I'm gonna take, I think, maybe Maybe should I try this? Because I put it all over the lids and on the inner corner and it actually looks really pretty. You know what, guys? I think this this one would work good for that. This is the, um, the cantaloupe uh, version that I bought here, the little duo. And I think maybe... 
this side might work better as a highlighter. Yeah, this color is a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can see it, but I popped it right here. So we had the original one, and then right in here I slid this highlighter, and it actually looks, let's go ahead and swatch this too. This is supposed to be the blush that goes with it. It's a very, very light, like I said, orangey tone blush, but I think this highlighter is going to work for my face actually very nicely. I think we'll do this side first just so you guys can see it better. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Okay, so I do think in terms of the shade, it is emphasizing a little bit my texture and whatnot, but it actually looks very, very nice. I'm getting a good glow. And I like the fact that it is buildable. That's good. Because I got you gotta be mindful, I think, of the texture more than anything, especially if you're like me. I have a ton of texture right here right now. And I'm noticing that it is really, really like clinging and emphasizing that area. But uh, I want to take now and go in with some of that halo powder that I've had ready for a long time. And I want to lightly dust this over like my cheek area just to see if we could maybe refine the way it looks a little bit. So I'm just going to tap a little bit on this Sigma. This is the Sigma Tapered Face F25. And I'm just going to take that little bit of powder and kind of lightly blur it on my cheeks right here. Just a very teeny amount. Whatever I dip in, I'm, I'm dusting all of it off except for that little bit right there. And I'm just lightly kind of folding it over my cheek just to kind of buff it in and then dispense just to see if I can get like a nice little light blurring glow. Oh wow, that actually looks beautiful, especially on this cheek right here, damn. And it actually looks really good over my textured area too. Like it definitely helped kind of tone that down. I'm just making sure that I really knock off as much of it as possible because the one thing I don't want is like a big <laughs> clump of that powder anywhere. I feel like it would make you look like a really highlighty, you know, kind of disco ball situation. All right, now really quick, before we go in with anything else, I just want to take a final spray here with that spray. I want to take a final spray here with that spray. Good job, Paige. Okay, so next up, we're doing some mascara. This is the Keep Your Curl Mascara, and I don't think I've ever tried this before. I know I've tried a couple formulas from e.l.f., but uh, I'm, I'm always into trying new mascaras in general, especially when they're very affordable. So I'm going to start going in with this. It does have more of a, like, spiky, rubbery bristle, which is not my favorite, but let's go ahead and uh, let's see what we can come up with here. All right, guys, so I'm done with the mascara, which obviously you guys are going to see a close-up here in just a second, but but this mascara for me definitely isn't my favorite. I think it does a, a nice job is in terms of uh, really defining each lash and giving you a little bit of length and making them look full. But it doesn't do much in terms of like giving you any substantial volume or really building on the length. And for me, those are like my two go-to things. But I do think that this does look very nice for kind of like a wispy lower lash line. That's what I love mascaras like this for. Um, so it's not awful. I am noticing that it can be a little bit flaky as you build it. So be mindful of that but uh, it's not awful in the other way so it's definitely something that maybe I could like use to build off of like use a layer of this and then go in with a more volumizing mascara afterwards but uh, it's it's not awful it's you know first impression it's not bad but it's not my favorite All right so finally now we are on to lips and at this point we are gonna go in with this shiny ass lipstick this is their sheer lipstick in the shade black cherry and I just thought that this looked so beautiful wow that, that is that is very sheer okay I don't know why I thought it was gonna have more color than that that has a about, well, I would say it has a little bit more color than the, um, than the gloss that we tried earlier, but I'm just going to take some of this. Actually, I better wipe off this lip oil. <laughs> Otherwise it's not going to stick at all. Then now we're going to go in with that. See how it looks on my, oh, my natural lips. That's actually really pretty. I actually, I really like that actually. Wow. Ooh, you guys, I like that a lot. All right, you guys, with that, we are officially done. Obviously, this is how everything came together. And first things first, I wanna go ahead and put up the up close. That way you guys can see how everything came together, how all of the products and the skin are looking, especially those lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that up on the screen. And I think for me, just kind of looking back through it, there were definitely a couple of things that I didn't really care for, like a couple of products that didn't work. But overall, I really, really like this. I love the way that the brows look, actually. I think that the products there um, between the powder out of that little duo and the actual brow gel. I think those look very nice. And even when it comes down to like the face products too, I really had a good time for the most part with those. There were definitely a couple that were shaky, but I really like the um, the way that they all melted together. That powder duo, the blush duo, and the putty blush I think are absolutely gorgeous. I, I actually am a big fan of how those press together and the consistency of the putty blush. I'm glad that it's like a nice, very thin, airy formula as opposed to being like a thick, heavy putty because that was the only thing I was a little 
little bit uneasy about. But I think for me, one of the biggest surprises of this video was actually that halo powder because I didn't expect it to look so, um, like, so nice and naturally glowy. Again, more like a finishing powder because I've tried other ones like that and they just, <laughs> when they're formulated, they have way too much shimmer and they look atrocious. And I really appreciate with this one that it's a nice, like, soft kind of natural glow. And when you buff it into the skin, again, more like a, like a finishing powder, it just looks so beautiful. There were really only two products that stand out that I wasn't like a huge fan of. Um, the first one definitely being that eye pencil. It is way too stiff for me. It just doesn't want to blend, doesn't want to work at all. And then for me too, that brightening concealer, I'm gonna have to play around with that one some more because I don't like the way it really looked under my eyes. And it might, don't get me wrong, it might just be like the products I mixed it with. So if you guys have tried it and you love it, I definitely want to hear from you down below. But overall, you guys, I think it was a pretty successful video. I really, really had a good time with the products and I like the way, you know, that like 90% of them perform. So I'm pretty happy with that. But of course, I want to hear from you guys down below, whether it is on these e.l.f. products, something that you love, another video you want to see, um, or just anything like that. Give me all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Of course, I love hearing from you guys. And of course, as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would greatly, greatly appreciate. But you guys, I think that that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I don't Watermelon, 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 diet coke, watermelon, diet coke. You can tell me what you want to, but I don't believe you, cause I love my diet coke and I don't like you. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't believe you, but bitch, I don't like you, okay? Don't talk about my diet coke and I won't talk about how much I don't like you, hmm? Huh? Really into like this fluffy fronted brow, fluffy fronted brow, blah, blah, blah. God, why do they make these stickers like they're lifting weights for a living, hello? Maybe it's like a little bite of my sandwich. Seen so she's sitting over here looking lonely. Got a PB and J break with a diet coke. You can hear the light eyes. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Gotta love it. Oh yeah, I look like I'm seven and I don't care. Mm-hmm. Mm. I will still whip my hair. Do 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 do. Okay, stop. <laughs> Guys, I just I genuinely want to know. Am I the only person that just loves a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so much? Like, there's just something about it. It just hits just right all the time. Like it's it's never wrong. It's never a bad day for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They're so freaking good. Oh, I love them. Especially the way my mommy makes them. She makes the best ones because she's the best mommy.